Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified SMP. I am always am Zade, and I would like to make a disclaimer before we start. I think maybe if I zoom in, you can see it up there. If you'll notice, if you can tell, the lines of the different shades of light are probably a little more easy to see. That is because I've turned off smooth lighting, so I apologize if you don't like the look. I really don't like it, but it is the easiest thing to turn off to decrease CPU usage in the game, and since my CPU can't handle it until I get a new computer, which will hopefully be very soon, I will be playing with smooth lighting turned off because it is the quickest, easiest, largest performance increase setting that I can change. So that's what's going on with that. If you notice, it's not really noticeable out here in the sun, but if I'm in a uh, building, for example, it, it shows up really well in some places. So if you watch all the videos on my channel, you will know that I was recently the victim of an infection. Some kind of fungal growth um, this warning sign says something about a new strain of mold. Uh, it sounds pretty terrible. There's an infection. There's all these weird spores, and it's just, uh, it's not good. And we need to get out of here. I'm, I'm not going to touch that stuff. I'm not cleaning that up. It is very unhealthy. It is unsafe. I'm just going to leave it. And what we're going to do... Because all I really care about, as many of you maybe know, is my wealth. So you can see the lighting in here. And so I am going to take everything of value that I own, and we are going to go hide away. Uh, so let's um, find a good spot over here. I'm thinking, let's just kind of come down in this, uh, this little hole. Where's a deeper spot I can go? Maybe kind of by this mushroom right here. Yeah, it's a good spot. And uh, I'm just going to do the old, you know, dig down like so, so we don't fall in lava. And I'm going to dig down. I'm going to go ahead and cut here because this part's going to be a little boring, but I'm just going to dig down until I get to a depth that feels safe. I'm going to dig out a little area, and I'm going to transport all my valuables down here. And then I will be back with you to show you what we've got going on. Alright, so here we are down in the pit. You can see I've got down a little ways. Um, let's get rid of this. I'm done with this now. There were some sheep and some mushroom cows just right here. You know, I'm in a mushroom biome, of course, so I just easily just grabbed a couple of sheep that were wandering around, grabbed a couple of the cows that were wandering around, dropped them down into the water there. I just closed up up top. You can see I've got just it's blocked off. We need to block it off better eventually because we don't want that infection to come down here. Um, but we need to get self-sustaining because we don't know when that infection is going to spread. And it could uh, cover the whole server, so we need to make sure we have this safety bunker going. I've got the outer wall right here going. Um, the first thing, let's, uh, let's show you what I've done so far, actually. Just have some leads here, yes, leads. We'll pull these, uh, mushroom cows. Oh, did I have fences over here somewhere? We'll take some of those. Uh, you can see I started breeding the sheep a little bit already. Black and, uh, red, just because, you know, with the ink farm it spawned in. The Iron Golem farm, this server has an abundance of black and red ink, so just starting with those. Might expand more colors eventually if I uh, get to, to that point down here, but it's not the most urgent thing. We just need some sheep for future because you never know when we're going to be able to get out of this crazy place. But what we need to do is dig a home for these mushroom cows. So we'll start mining in here. I'm just going to make a little notch in here. And we'll just stick them to that for a bit while we work. 
Uh, so I need to dig out a hole, shear some more of these sheep so I can get the carpet thing going on. We don't want to risk our animals suffocating down here because, of course, you can't exactly breed animals very well in a cave if you don't have any to breed. But uh, we'll get to those in a minute. The first thing I wanted to do was uh, the tweets that I heard from Scar said the scientists that were looking into it figured that water was stopping the spread of the fungal infection. So let's go ahead and go like f maybe four-ish wide. We want to build kind of just like a little moat to protect against any infection spreading. I should have brought a beacon down here. That would have been nice. Oh well. That's fine. We uh, have a lot of time to spend in this hole, so it doesn't matter if we have a lot of rocks to mine out. But the basic idea is we want... I think this should be wide enough. We can always increase it if we are worried about it later on. Alright. So we'll just take that. I think, I think stone floor is going to be just fine. And let's just uh, fill this in with water for starters. Let's do the old steal from our own water source trick here. And get this all the way across. And if we do that, then we should be able to just pretty much come like right there and there. And that should fill it all in. Very nice! Very nice! I can fill this in. Uh, I think I have some real stone over here. Let's, just because we're living in a cave doesn't mean we have to not live in style. So let's fill that in. Keep everything looking nice. Fill my bucket back up. I gotta take at least one more trip back up to get all my uh, diamonds and emeralds and things like that, of course. We'll do that shortly. No, but we need to make this protected. Uh, let's see, I have, uh, let's just do some stone. Oops, not that stone. That's harder to come by. Okay, give me a set of stairs. And shift. Ah, there we go. And some slabs. And we're just going to make like a simple bridge over this water. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Maybe I'll just do that. And, uh... Is this going to be too big in the doorway? Yes. Hmm. That's alright. We'll just do this. I got it. I got it. Just put that there. Stair there. Slab, slab, slab. I guess, actually, if I put the slab like that, I can put it in the doorway. Go away. Okay. One more slab. Stair. Okay. So there we go. Just a simple little bridge. Not the greatest looking thing. That's okay. We'll, we'll maybe work with that later. It's not the important issue here. So we've got that going on. Um, I, was, I did grab a few things. So we need to get uh, a nice wheat farm going on so that we can breed any of the animals we have down here. I've only got this much wheat. Don't have a ton of wheat. Maybe let's just uh, let's start with a farm over here. So we'll grab some dirt. And let's see, one, two, three, four is how far that water will go, but I can put water over there if I want, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just start with this, just get a, get a start going here. Now let's go um, to like here and fill that in. Might have to make a... Uh, redstone farm at some point. I'm sure if we dig around we'll find a bunch of redstone. Let's see. One, two, three, four is how far this will hydrate without placing more water. So we'll start with that. I have to light the edge too. We'll have to think of some lighting maybe to hang from the ceiling or something like that or some lamps we can put down in here. I don't know. If you have some ideas for cool lights down here, let me know. They'd be appreciated. Comment section below. Let's just do that. And then, of course, we brought our diamond hoe. Can't go farming without a diamond hoe. Whoa. That was interesting. <laughs> Glitched out block. <laughs> that's, 
That's why you gotta use diamond hose. They create dirt out of thin air. <laughs> Maybe a diamond hoe would clean up that infection. I don't know. I don't know. If it comes to that, we'll try it. Right, grab a stack of these seeds here. And we'll get some wheat growing. That way we will have bread until we get something else going. I guess we can actually have some stew down here too. That is a good idea. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take another cut. Let this wheat start growing. Just to get a start. We need to expand that quite a bit. But uh, I'm going to dig out what would be really boring to watch. I'm going to dig out all this cobble right here real fast to get an area for these mushroom cows. Alright. Got that area kind of dug out. And uh, oh, I need some... We need some grass for him to stand on. We're not inhumane down here. If we're going to be trapping them in a hole for the rest of their lives, they should at least have some lovely grass to chomp on, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just take a few blocks of grass. Oh, right there. And there. And there. Get this just to spread it out. I guess so. Okay. And then we need to put a fence down around it. Stay right there, is he in the way? Get out of the way. Okay. Fence this in. We'll be digging that farther. Not a big deal. Let's see. I need more fence. And that just turned... Okay. Sure. Sure game. Now where did my crafting table go? <laughs> there we go. Sheesh. What is going on? All right. Let's just turn like half of that into fence. Is that enough? I don't know how big this is. Fence, 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 fence. I need uh, one, two, okay. Two more. So if we do that, and then if we take this one, hmm. <laughs> if we take this one, that was weird. Just floating. I'm gonna have to drag you in. Come to your new homes, cows. You shall live here forever. Because, you know, if that fungal infection gets cured, I ain't pulling you out of this hole. Alright, put that down. Let that grass spread. Need to shear some sheep. Shear some sheep. Let's see. We'll just uh, make it black to match the side. You know, why not? Why not? And we'll just kind of do the old, uh, I'll have to shear some more to get it going all the way, but just do the old cover it up. You're in the way. You're in the way. Move. <laughs> Move, cow. <laughs> anyway, so putting carpet down. All right, so we'll just do that all the way around. And then, of course, for food while we're down here, until our wheat gets going, there's this lovely trick we can use. I don't want to use it permanently because soup doesn't stack. But if you just right click, this is something I recently learned from Anarchy actually. If you just right click on a cow, you get stew. And you can just blah 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 blah. Awesome. So we've got stew. So we have uh, food storage when our chicken runs out. And uh, I do have some iron down here if we want to get some milk buckets going on. Uh, no, it's not in there. It's in here, yes. Brought a, brought a bunch of iron, so we're good there. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see, what else do we need down here? Um, I think we need a bedroom. We're going to be uh, resting down here for a very long time. Potentially, we're going to need a bedroom. So let's... Um, finish this wall that I missed over here and then we'll kind of uh, get an area going for that and I'll make a quick off camera run up top to grab a bunch of diamonds and things like that because we need to make sure those are safe um, but this is actually just the pattern I was using in my last ugly block challenge I decided I liked it and I decided it would fit really well down here and uh, if we're going to be spending all this time down here, we want it to look good. So we might as well have this neat little wall going on. And yeah, alright. I'm going to grab some things. I'll dig out another little section, maybe over here. And we'll uh, 
get a couple more rooms. We need a little spot to keep our valuables and a place to put a bed. Well, that's a bit annoying. I got my stuff. I came down here and uh, we expanded this here and did a couple things in here. And then I went to edit it and for some reason my mic had disabled itself in the options. I don't even know how that happened. But it did. It, and uh, yeah, so my video had no audio. Yippee! So I'm just gonna show you what we did. I've got a decent amount of stuff done anyway, so it's cool. We'll just kind of uh, recap here. My shears are getting a little low. Let me grab another pair. So uh, what we did, uh, I did clear this out a little bit more, but I decided to put the stuff on the sides. Uh, these sheep, uh, it's, it's kind of hot down here, you know, and we don't, uh, we don't want these sheep to overheat. There's there's lava down this low all over the place. So it, is, it is pretty warm, and that wool gets pretty hot, right? And so we got to keep these guys cool. So let's, let me just grab all this first. All right, let's just uh, we'll just have a chest on each one to keep everything going. And then under the cows, you know, we have the, uh, the soup and stuff. I get milk, but yeah. All right, so what I did is right over here, I just uh, knocked out a little section like this, made a doorway. And in here, we just uh, went on a little snazzy. I don't want to go too crazy. I mean, we are in a cave, but I wanted a little bit of color, put a couple paintings up just so it didn't feel so cavey when I'm relaxing in the bed. I just kind of got this, you know, simple table in case we need to get some work done before the spore infection is dealt with in some way. And, yeah, just some cool little lights. And, and that's what we got going on bedroom-wise. Just real simple, real chillax. And then on the other side, if we come over here, I uh, slapped on. We wanted an iron door, of course, to protect this room. Pure stone. Got kind of a hidden wall. Or a hidden button, I mean. We come in here, and you can see this isn't all my wealth. I just kind of grabbed some in a hurry. I don't want to stay up there very long. I may grab some more later, get this built up. But we just want to kind of stockpile what we have and uh, keep it keep it safe so I've got this nice purely stone room so it's safe from any intruders or anything like that and whenever I want you know I can just kinda come in and hang out by my by my diamonds or my gold uh, or my emeralds or whatever you know take a nap right here if the, if the bed's a little too soft at the time or whatever you know just just kick it and yeah so just kinda got like a little vault going on basically like I said, we'll probably grab some more later as long as the infection stays back. And hopefully I can get it all transported down here before the infection spreads too far. Oh man, these sheep just grow their wool so fast, you know. I don't, I don't even know what that's about. But we'll just go ahead and trim them down, keep them cool, keep them cool, you know. But uh, I, think, I think that'll do it for this week and uh, yeah let me know if you have any other ideas of some some things that we would need down in kind of a self-sustaining bunker and uh, maybe we'll get those built and for now though any other comments totally welcome random as they may be related to the channel related to the video always cool random jokes always cool you're feeling angry at your whatever and you want to vent at somebody go ahead and give me you know you're venting in the comments i'm okay with that and uh yeah everybody have a good week i will see you all back here in the bunker where hopefully it will still be safe i think we're good down here but you know you never know uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll see you all next week blah 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 <laughs> all right bye bye everyone